Laura Jean Shannon. I'm the specialty super suits costume designer on Titan. Any conversation about the costumes on Titans begins and ends with LJ and her mastery of the form. She's an artist. What you do when you're designing a super suit is you're working with the actor's proportions, but you're also playing with tricking the eye so that you're creating that classic superhero V. You're really focusing on trying to make these live action characters look as much like they do in the comic books as you can. What the fuck? I had spent the first two seasons seeing all of these other amazing super suits, Wonder Girls, and Doves, and Hawks, and Robins, and just thinking how badass they looked. When I finally saw mine, I was just like, whoa, shit, like I got one. I know. I'm hot. Jeez. I got a new name now. Right out. The life of a superhero, getting <laughs> dressed. I think some people sometimes think you like press a button and it goes on. Not that easy. <laughs> Red Hood's new look is pretty comic accurate. The thing that we did different was the Red Hood logo. In the comics, you see it being very straight, symmetrical, very bright, and we took the path of he made his own costume in a way. So we didn't do it as bright. We did it a little bit crooked, a little bit like the spray paint was dripping off, so it gives it that really dark, eerie, self-made type of vibe. Can we see the bat suit? No. Batmobile? Guys. You made me ask. I did not. Dick. Gar Logan, AKA Beast Boy. He likes the color green. If it's green, he's gonna wear it. If it's green, it's on his head. If it's green, it's in his DNA. And then season three, Beast Boy gets a uh, upgraded jacket. It's a bit more adult than the first season. Has a bit more structure, a bit more edgy. Superboy, can I get your autograph? Sure. You'll want mine too, right? I'm good. Unbelievable. The emblem is incredibly iconic. It's known all over the world. You see it, you instantly recognize it. You know what it is, you know what it means, you know what it represents. That significance is not lost on Connor. He wants to do that S justice. I do love how simple it is, how accurate it is to that version of the character in the comics, but also how comfortable it is. <laughs> I always say my favorite suit is Josh's. He wears a t-shirt and pants. I'm like, hey bro, how, how long did it take you to get into your suit? Minute, two minutes, cool. You know, we're all like struggling into our suits, like, ah, you know, like getting our legs through. He just puts on a t-shirt, he's ready to go. Where are the others? They're gone. When we were designing the suit for Nightwing, a big challenge was figuring out how we were going to harness his Eskrima sticks. We put the Eskrima sticks on the back because it's more practical and I can reach them over the shoulder, which is traditional to the comic books. I love, but sadly I can't <laughs> get them out. There was a lot of back and forth with that one. Don't hate me, fans. Costuming with LJ has always been one of my favorite parts of pre-production. I get to wear these fantastic things. And that power you feel when you're wearing the boots and I've got this fantastic designer jacket and it's got like leather sleeves and a leather hood. I can't, sorry to brag. What are those? Tamaranian technology. <clears throat> you, you look good. I'm going to be that person, yes. My suit is my favorite suit. When I talk about her style, Blackfire is literally a ball of intention from the minds of great women. I really got touched by a lot of magic when Blackfire stepped on the stage. Everybody always asks me what my favorite suit is, and it's like a flip book of all of the suits just going like I get I love them all. What LJ is able to do is depart from the books and really turn it into something a human would wear and move through the world with. It's an amazing work of art, everything she does. Bye. <laughs>